Hi folks, Astronomy Live. I've got a quick tech demo tonight to show you some progress I'm making with the next module for my telescope tracking software, which I'm splitting into its component parts. The first you can see in my previous video showing and releasing an asteroid tracking module that allows you to track near-Earth asteroids, comets, and even spacecraft. This module is all about tracking fast-moving objects, either satellites, rockets, or other rapidly moving objects in the sky, whose trajectories you don't necessarily know ahead of time, and whose appearance or shape you also don't necessarily know ahead of time. So you can track them either with a joystick using manual input, or with video-based tracking, and that's what this is all about. Now by porting my software to Python, I'm able to directly access OpenCV and use more advanced tracking algorithms. This will actually be feature-based tracking, whereas before it was simply color and intensity. This feature-based tracking is also adaptive, so it will learn what the feature looks like over time and how it might be changing. This can accomplish the task of tracking an object even in changing lighting conditions, or as it passes overhead and your perspective of the object changes, its appearance will seem to change as your perspective changes. So, as you can see, the target box is designated by the mouse. You can also increase or decrease the size of the target box simply by using the scroll wheel. And by mousing over the target, you simply left click to designate that target and it will follow it around. So you can see that even as I move my mouth, uh, it relearns what that object should look like and continues to track it. Uh, the final step will be to integrate this with the telescope control commands. So I will be supporting the LX200 Classic, of course, as always, as that is my telescope, but I'll also be endeavoring to support ASCOM compatible telescopes that can utilize the move axis command, same as with the asteroid tracking uh, program that I've released. So if your telescope works with the asteroid tracking module, it should work with this module as well. So stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for its release on GitHub. Thanks for all of your support, and thank you for watching. Clear skies, folks.